Okay, we are in Coldwater at Cold Ford. And they have these two lovely dispensers. Um, <clears throat> Charger 2, which is Rush. And there's juice over there. I started over here trying to stay out of the way until I touched the screen and found out that one's offline. So, let's see what we're getting right now. You don't need the app to start these chargers, which is a good thing. But I'm looking to see if these will communicate with this vehicle and this adapter. So it looks like it is. It's working. We arrived with 30% standard charge on the battery. We started with 72 before heading down here. So we should be able to get a good charge. Let's see. And these are power electronic cabinets, which I've heard of before, but where is it? It's on the inside. I'm not sure if all of these are like that, but I actually found another dealer provided charger with a network I haven't seen. So we're going to go to that one after we do about a, about a uh, charge up to 50% because I at least want to uh, not heat up the battery too much but it's on the other side of the highway so it's not too far out but it is pricey so these are 60 cent a kilowatt hour so yeah as you see right there that is pricey but in a pinch, they'll do. And it's actually not too, too bad. But I like how this can split. So you can either get one vehicle, you get the, the full 240 or 2 120. So not actually bad. These look fairly new too. So then also, they have two level twos over there. Ironically, there's a Tesla over there, but I think that's a car for sale. So, looks like Cold Water is finally setting themselves up for EV adoption in the near future, so that is nice. Okay. Alright, so let me ugh, park kind of weird here because I had to move. just fine. I love it. said these are these in charge dispensers which I've never seen before so let's go ahead and get a look at these I'm J hey you know what this might be the same brand or manufacturer as the uh, Ford ones no they they just look like it come on there we go focus Oh, 
Holy crap. Okay. All right, so what's the next step? Wow! Okay, so $50 hold, but it is cheaper. All right, so let me grab my card. Oh man, what do I do with it? Accept it. Authorized. Okay. Contactors. It's good. Put my card back in my wallet. This is spooling up, so that's good. There we go. Second contactor. And we're good. So let's see. This will display speed. Uh, you do have your energy delivered, time used, remaining time, voltage, current average. Okay. As long as we get past 43, we, we know we won't have an issue with charging. Fifty-two. Oh yeah, this is actually tell you the uh, the power that's being dispensed in kilowatts. Nice. So we'll stay here till eighty percent. Okay, we've hit eighty percent. So let's go ahead and. In this session and head home but look at it still getting a pretty decent rate even at uh 80 percent state of charge so let's go ahead so i think it's canceled let's stop it oh hold on how do you stop this actually At this point, I'm realizing I'm going to be stuck here to 100%. Knowing that there's a passcode to stop the charge, why why did the dealership have this set up? Yeah, I saw that there was an emergency stop nearby, but there was a cover you know, to gain access to that, so I'm not going to break that. But considering the price per kilowatt being so low, and you having a significant drive going back home, it made more sense just to stick around and just let it charge to 100%. But I would never recommend doing so if you were actually at a busy site or just going past 90%. That's personally my opinion. But with that said, I'll see you in the next video.